going to talk about um, how to make how to use Photoshop to do color separations. There's a lot of different um, methods we can use for that. Um, I'm going to show you the kind of least high tech, least specialized way. It's a little bit kind of like dumb, if you will. Um, like not a smartphone, it's a dumb phone. But it's really fast and easy, and you can always get it to print off of anything. So I'm going to show you that one, and you may get more advanced in, uh, as you go along. So, so one thing that you should probably be aware of is the fact that we have... Um, uh, like Photoshop will, you can bring in any kind of image you want, but I'm just going to go ahead and start with a grayscale image here. So just a black and white image. And if you don't know how to change something into grayscale, you can always go up here to image, um, mode, grayscale. And we're just going to go ahead and change this from black and white into grayscale. It's asking me if I want to rasterize the effects that I have on here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, rasterize and that's just fine. So, and we'll merge all of these layers together discarding all the color information. So now I've just got a black and white image. If I zoom in on this thing, all I have are a ton of black and white pixels, just a whole bunch of black and white pixels, um, grays, 256 shades of gray, right? No colored pixels in there. But when we go to print, we're not getting, we're not, we're not looking for pixels. We're looking for um, uh, dots. Like when we go to print, we need binary dots, black uh, dots or white paper, if you will. We don't want uh, gray doesn't work for us because um, we're trying to burn this through a screen in order to print it. And so what we need to do is we need to convert this grayscale image into black and white dots. Halftone screens is the way that you refer to it. And so if Illustrator is all about flat shapes, kind of, and it's really great for screen printing, it's a good way to be able to get big flat colors and areas and stuff like that. Photoshop is really good at dots. So Illustrator is good at flats. Photoshop's good at dots, and you can of course mix them together, and there's all kinds of things that you can do, including just drawing stuff by hand, so don't feel like you have to do Photoshop at all if it gets confusing. But I, don't, I need to get this out of the gray, 256 pixels of gray, and I need to make this somehow into, uh, into black or white dots. <clears throat> but what I want to do is I want to mix more than one color, so I'm going to show you guys how to do a duotone. So I'm going to teach you how to make a duotone image out of a black and white um, and a duotone is like a, kind of a fancy way that they would use in printing to kind of tint a tint an image like sepia tone. So I'll show you how to do that now. So if we go in here to my um, into my mode, so I go image mode, and then I go up here into duotone. If I go and click on that, I'm going to get this dialog box that basically shows me a black, the black kind of layer here, and the blue layer. And so what you want to do is you can go in and adjust the um, how much or how little blue or black you have based on um, like the curves. So I'm just going to go ahead and just make some adjustments to the curves. If I wanted to change this from blue though, I could click on this color, switch over here and get myself a little closer to like a uh, kind of a sepia type tone color like that. I can click OK on that. Now I have kind of a sepia tone color. I could add a color here if I click on uh, where it says duotone and I turn turn that into tritone, then I can add like a different color. If I want to add a blue here, I can put like this blue in there. Um, click OK on that. I can adjust these curves on the blue a little bit too. So we'll do three three layers, sepia tone, blue, and black. So you can see it gets really dark, but again, we can adjust this when we go to print um, this out. We don't have to print these as flats. We can do transparency and a whole bunch of different things. So if I click OK on that, um, I need to name this one, sorry. I'll change this one to brown. And this one to blue. Click OK on that. So now if you look at my layers, I still just have one layer. It's just the image has basically um, been changed so it looks like this on the screen. But the layers are still there. So what I'm going to need to do is I want to click over here on channels. And if I click on my channels, you can see I have a tritone here, right? Which is basically um, the way that Photoshop kind of deals with uh, information that I'm telling it to do. So uh, in order to change this, I need to go up here to Image, Mode, and I want to go into Multi-Channel. So when I do this, it's going to split my those four or those three inks that I had into different channels or layers, if you will. But instead of being in the Layers palette, they're going to be here in channels. So layers, I still just have one background layer. My channels, though, I have three channels. And you can kind of see that this is what the blue layer looks like. Now this is what the brown layer looks like. 
this is what the black layer looks like. So when I, if I printed these out separately on separate pieces of paper, I'd be able to burn them onto a screen and I'd be able to get, um, print these different colors and they'd all combine together to do something kind of interesting, right? Um, but right now, you know, they're still all one file. So how do I split these channels out? How do I make it so that I'm able to change these and convert these into dots? So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go again and turn on all the eyeballs here in channels. And remember layers, I've still just got one layer. Channels is where the separation has taken place. I can come up here and go to image, mode, and instead of multi-channel, um, or no, I'm sorry, that's not what I want to do. Remember that the way we did this whole entire process here is we went image, mode, we went, we went uh, grayscale, then we went multi, uh, sorry, then we went duotone, then we went multi-channel, and then at the end we're going to go to bitmap. But I, what I want to do here is I want to click on this little kind of arrow that hangs down over here next to the channels, and I just want to go ahead and split my channels. When I do this, it's going to split this from one Photoshop file into three. So when I do that, you can see now up here at the top, I have a, a, a tab that's the blue one, a tab that's the brown one, and a tab that's the black one. So that's great. I now have three separate files. If I wanted to, I could build some registration marks into this as well, but I'll, I'll kind of walk you through how to print those out um, at a different time. So that you can kind of have the printer do that automatically for you if you want. So. All right, so does that make sense? I've got, this is my black one, this is the brown one, this is the blue one. They're all little different shades of gray. But if I zoom in on it, I still just have a bunch of gray pixels. I need to change those three layers somehow into dots. Somehow I've got to figure out how to do that. So the way I do that is I go up to mode again and I just change it to bitmap. And bitmap is Photoshop's way of kind of automatically turning your uh, grayscale image into dots for you. So a lot of printers do this. All printers will change grayscale images or, or RGB images into CMYK dots, like it'll figure out how to print the dots. Um, but what we want to do is do this manually. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to put um, <clears throat> my output resolution, which I'm going to go ahead and go like 200 pixels per inch. And I'm going to use a halftone screen in this case. And the, the pixels per inch is like your dots per inch. So um, and then this line screen is really important, like a 10 line screen um, will give you basically like giant dots. So I'm going to show you what the, what happens. If I could do a 10 lines per inch at uh, 23 degree angle and then I'm going to use ellipses like we generally tend to do and click OK on this. You can see that if I zoom in on this now at 100%, I've got giant dots, right? I've got these really big dots. So over here on the brown one, I'll go up and try that again. I'll go image mode bitmap 200 pixels per inch. That's fine. And then this time I'll go uh, 50 lines per inch and click OK on that. And you can see how much more kind of refined these two things on are. And if I zoom in on this at 100% now, that's 200. If I zoom in on this now, you can see that at 100%, the dots here are much, much smaller and much more refined than the dots here, which are really big and kind of grainy, right? And that's the difference in line screen or frequency, which just means, you know, how frequent the dots are per inch. So if I go ahead and printed these out now, I'd have one layer, the black layer, that would have really big black dots that would be really grainy and really obvious. And here I'd have brown dots that would be smaller. Um, but what you want to do is you want to go ahead and make sure that you change your line screen for each of these layers and keep them consistent. So for screen printing, we go from 40 to 60 lines per inch. And it depends on how th how fine grain your screen is. So if you're working with our classic kind of uh, white screen that's pretty grainy in there, we can't print probably 60 lines per inch. We're probably pushing our luck at 50, but we'll go for it and see what happens. So I'm gonna go image, mode, bitmap here, 200 again. I'm gonna go 50, and you always want to change your angles. Like you don't want all three layers to be uh, the same angle. And I'll talk about more, that more when I get into um, uh, four color printing. So I'm just gonna change this to like 45 um, angle, and that's just the angle that the dots are um, kind of for the halftone screen. Keep it as ellipse, so 50, 45, the other one was 23 and 50. Click OK on that. And so yeah, now if I zoom in on this at 100%, I've got my, uh, you know, this is 200%, but I've, I've got my, um, you know, 
pretty pretty small dots, but they're not so small that I won't be able to burn burn the screen and print it out. And uh, you know, you can see that it's automatically half toned this for me. So this is all done manually in Photoshop. Now, if I print this out on an inkjet printer, it'll print the dots. If I print it out on a laser printer, it'll print the dots. Um, so bitmap is just a manual way of changing things to binary, a dark pixel or a white pixel. That's all that it does. Um, and it's a great little tool where you can take like multiple layers and print them out. Um, so if you look here, what I can do now is I'll just send this to the printer. And I'll just send all three files to the printer. And they'll all print out at the same size and the same scale. And then I'll have little transparencies that I can work with um, uh, to make screens out of.